Hello, this is Victor bringing here a new review, another White Dwarf. It's time to look at the White Dwarf 473. This is the one released in February uh, 2022. It arrived this week to my hand. So here we have these the subscribers. As usual in this channel, I bring the subscribers edition, where you have this type of the, the alternative cover, uh, yeah, without the text. Okay, so this is the. Propaganda for to subscribe. We are already subscribed, so it's curious that you put it here. And here we see the content of this white bar. So we are going to have some um, yeah, generic part with an um, Edge of Sigma 40k, and we have Black Library. We have as well Warhammer Underworlds and Adeptus Titanicus. We start with the contact part. As well, a very uh, a piece that I really like to to see what the community can do. I love this one. I think this is really, 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 really a nice one. Uh, the, this Redemptor uh, Dreadnought. Again, this is a bit of terrain, is spectacular. Uh, really nice jobs. I like this alternative scheme for Nargle. I think there is some, and then we have. Uh, I skip one page, sorry. Yeah, here we have more, more paint jobs. I like as well this conversion. Okay, this tech priest made uh, from a Necron body. Um, here we see uh, yeah, we have different different stories from the from the right from the readers, and this is the, a, a big smoke, right? So this is a yeah, this is a really nice piece, right? Uh, it's, a, it's a lovely piece to paint, to be fair. Okay, it looks really awesome. Then we go to H of Sigma. So okay, we start with, they start with H of Sigma. Um, we start here with the Bright City, Realm Escapes, so they talk a little bit of background about the Realm Escapes. Okay, you can see, really nice. I, I like a lot the artwork. Uh, I think this, these articles are really interesting if you want to go uh, um, to have more knowledge about the background of the of H.O. Sigmar. Then we go to the Tom Celestial for the Beast of Chaos, so these are uh, well, as well, as usual, we have first uh, some background as in to, into this view. And here we have new rules for the Beast of Chaos, okay? So, they have updated the Hearthstone, um, piece of terrain, say it in a way. They have uh, added new rampages for the monsters of the, of the Beast of Chaos. Battle traits, yeah, you can see the battle traits for monsters. So you see, and then also they have, so they have a rule for open and match play. Okay, battle tactics, grand strategies for them, and then they also have a um, rule for path of glory. So really interesting that they have. It's good that they, they give a little bit of love to the beast of chaos, and this means that they are still looking at them. So I think that. Maybe they will, but well, it also means that they will not release a codex uh, um, battle top soon, right? Um, then we have a flashpoint clash, a campaign, okay? So you can see here, so this is the introduction, and then we have here the, the different rules for the campaign, and as well, we have a battle plan for that, okay? Then we go to the tale of four warlords, where we start with this. Um, Lumineth, well, this techlist, okay. Well, this part of a Lumineth army, really, really. I like the color scheme, I like the paint job, I think it's a really nice paint job here. Then we have the this, um, this should be, yeah, these are undivided, the slaves to darkness, okay. This is and this is what they have added to slave to darkness. And the Order of Morda is a city of Sigmar, but he he's, here we see this uh, awesome conversion for the Celestian Prime, using these are the Banshees, so it's really, really, they have really interesting conversions, this is a Necromancer, but I guess it's used as a Sorcerer, so here we have the list, in case you are more interested, well, we, here we have the list, right? So we're talking about 3,800 points. This 3,200 points, what he has accumulated, what she has accumulated, sorry. 
and this is uh, 3,500, 3, okay? So they are over 3,000 points. And this 3,385, that you can see, this looks like it's Lanish, the host of excess, okay? Okay, we have the armies, uh, the full army, how it looks like, okay? Uh, I like a lot, it's a very coherent color scheme. I think he did a, a great job, there is uh, two, two of these um, big guys, and there is tech list. We have, um, I always forget this, the, the special character as well. So really interesting. Uh, this is a cow, chaos undivided, but we have as well some centerpieces like Bellacore. And this is, I would like to understand, what is this for, right? Uh, let me let me go to the list because then I can see what is this representing. Okay, Chaos Lord on Karadvak, Kar Karadvak, Kian Samurai. We have then what else? This uh, Min Min Mind Stealer. Sorry, Fancon for Moid from Roid Crusher. So I guess. Should be this one, the Chaos Sorcerer. So it's a leader and behemoth. So this should be a Chaos Sorcerer. Okay. So it's a nice army. Okay, it's a very nice army. Here we see is this a huge one? This one from Cities of Sigmar. We have some endless spells as well. So really, really, I like a lot the color scheme as well. I think it's very striking. This combination of uh, green and uh, pink. And then we have the uh, host of excess. And I think that is, yeah, we have only, yeah, we have this guy, um, Glutus, this thing is called. That is the one that he, he added this month. Then we have a uh, keeper of secrets. It's called, um, yeah, this is still the Mega Gargan. I guess it's the yeah, Glutus, Glutus or Scolion. So, yeah, it, it looks really nice. This is, I also like this one with the demon. So, it's, it's a nice army, they are nice armies. Then, they were, well, yeah, they call it Age of Sigma, but it is in reality War Cry. So, we have here a uh, uh, old race. Uh, out on the range of Thondia. So this um, this pioneers meet the first resistance to the local when they're Scots. Okay, so it's it's like new rules. Okay. Yeah, these are like new these are Richard Sondia. If you have played a battle in Thondia, so these are less artifacts. Warship of Thondia. So it's, I'm curious to see what this is about. I, I, I did not pay attention the first time. If you wish uh, you acquire battles to take place in Thondia, it could uh, be simpler. Set up a battle according to the core book, but change except 3 and 4 as structured below. Okay. So it's, it's quite interesting. So there are new victory conditions. A new twist. So it's it's not bad. I think it's a nice nice thing. So then we have different objects, new objects. And then we go um, to Warhammer 40,000. And yeah, this is, I think this is taken from the Visualus. So it's inspired as well. Or it's taking place in the Visualus al alone, right? On the last um, campaign book. Because we is the bloody rose, if I'm not wrong, and this is where, yeah, one of the main armies there, death and zeal, and then they play here. This is um, they are going to play a competitive game, okay? So using, they're going to use uh, uh, the tournament rules. Here we see some of the, this is the hearthstone, and we also see that there will be new cards for um, stratagems on the elder. So here we have the the, two ar the, uh, the army of the Dark Elder. We need to remove uh, the Dark Elder. Yeah, the Dark Elder, and then we have the army of the Sisters of Battle. And it's a. Uh, if I was not wrong, I think it's a 2000 game. Yeah, it's a 2000 game, and and they use the tournament um, setup. Okay, so here you can see the tournament setup. 
Uh, they go back to these maps, I think this is new to them on this format and I will try to avoid that you can see the result so I will skip this one and we go to the flashpoint, okay, so this is the, the this is the, the the battle report, so I will skip this one but this is a battle report, um, it's a competitive game Sisters of Battle against Dark Elder, 2000 points then we go to the enemy within okay, Night Moon the galaxy, uh, the Vegas Tone as soon their new war zones exploding into life with ever increasing frequency as the walls around the Night Moon Gauntlet descend into anarchy. The Imperium must remain vigilant for signs of that most hated for heresy. Okay, so yeah, they have to fight. And this is from the pre heresy because this is the this is the captain. That comes in the uh, in in what's called in the betrayal of Kalth. And this is the the chaplain in the betrayal of Kalth. You can see yeah. it's a first flash point, it's, um, so it's a background, it's background, and then okay, we have more background about natural. And then after these backgrounds, okay, we have the faithful host. Uh, that is, if I'm not wrong, these are rules for crusade or not. Okay, this is a new army, so let me just make a rule here. In the previous white draft, we presented rules to allow uh, players being take their crusade force on the right to journeys of destruction to the stars. In this, you, you will find further information. So, this is the continuation of the previous white draft. And this it's for a crusade, yeah, as you can see, these are requisition points. Right, so I'm, I'm, I'm really tempted for that. And then we have the index channel, so we have the craft wall Altansar background as well. And we will have rules for this craft wall. So this is a, it's coming ahead of the codex, but we know the codex will be released for pre order next week. So again, and then we have as well a little bit of paint job. I like this the color scheme of this warlord, of uh, this warcraft, sorry. No, wall craft or craft wall. This, uh, when they will say correctly, craft wall altansar. So I, I like I like the color scheme. I like the color scheme. I think it looks nice. Uh, here they say you have some tips to do freehand, some tips to do gems, and then they also talk about the technical paints. And then we go to a gallery, a gallery of. Um, uh, Imperial Knights, Chaos and Non-Chaos, I think, and I think yeah, Chaos and Loyal uh, Imperial Knights. I love this one. I think this is the, one of the most interesting conversions here. I really love this one. This is more classical. These are these are Loyal one, another uh, chaotic one. Really, uh, Chaos have a lot of give a lot of. Um, uh, freedom to create a strange things, right? On, on the Imperial Knights, I like this Dark Angels one. I think it's very the free hands are really nicely done. All these are really pieces of art. Eh? This all these ones. So this one is very nice. Not a loyal one. I these legs are amazing. And then we go to. Glory points, and this uh, uh, article talking about Warhammer Underworlds. Uh, this column there uh, in this issue, John brings us on time relics. So, this will talk with a type of relics that the type of card that we have in Warhammer Underworlds, and then they talk about the territories. I need to make a look at multiplayer games, so I need to make a, a, a deep look in this on this one because I'm, I'm really enjoying a lot of Warhammer Underworlds. Uh, and then we go honor banners. Uh, this is mainly for uh, Adeptus Titanicus, and it's talking about the banners that you end up uh, under the legs of the, in between the legs of the of the uh, uh, Titans. Okay. Uh, some uh, yeah, some data sheets to for campaigns. As well, here we see how to do a Titan banner. It's interesting. This one, I like this one, this thing. I think it's a very nice detail. And then we go to the Black Library where we have a history to finalize the White Dwarf. Okay. Of course, and 
all the white valve is finishing with inside the studio where we can see people from the studio what are our painting and what they are playing to so since that they here they are playing to I guess this risk for Warhammer 40,000 okay so this is a new uh, risk release a new, uh, with a new layout we have here and then more paint jobs done by them okay really nice and you can see how of this of, of in the studio how pe some people in the studio is really moving fast with the bingo thing okay I never uh, I'm never feel a lot of it and then next issue is going to be very interesting for me because we are going to have kill team harlequins and harlequins I love them okay so it's going to be interesting to see uh, um, kill team harlequins how it looks like so this is what you have in this white bar, this is white dark 173 February uh, 2022. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and you like the review. Please like, subscribe, share if you think other people can be interested. And you also can support me in Patreon if you want it. So as usual, thanks a lot for watching and see you again later. Bye.